Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Hello. And we're back with part two of my get to know me tag. This became so long because I had so many questions and I wanted to answer all of them. So thanks so much for submitting your questions. Hope you're enjoying this and getting to know me a bit better if you like. And now I'm going to continue with the questions. Let's do it. Have you moved from home? Where to and how was the experience? Well, when I started university, I had to move to the capital, Montevideo, because I'm in my city, there is not a university. And thankfully, I got a scholarship from the government giving me a place to stay, and it was very cheap with that scholarship. So that was a great, great help. And the place where I was staying was a student home, and I had such a great time. I met amazing people there. We were all students, and it was just so much fun. I loved it. It was such, such a great experience, yeah. Now, random question. What theme parks have you been to? Okay, this is a very random question, but I've been to a theme park in Brazil, which was called uh, Peto Carreiro. It's in the states of Santa Catarina, I believe. And I went there when I was around six. So it's very, very tiny. And about it, I only remember two traumatizing things about it. One was that I couldn't go into the roller coaster like everyone else. So I had to stay with my grandma down because I wasn't tall enough. Circus, well, I was six, so I was not tall enough. And I remember I cried so freaking much because I really wanted to go on the roller coaster. And I was very sad about it, but well, what can you do? And then the next thing that I remember is that there's this woman that turns into a gorilla with a with like a play of lights, I think, or something. And it was so freaking scary. It's called uh, the Monga. You can look it up on YouTube. I think there's videos of it. But it was super scary, like really scary. Like I was six. That was freaking freaky. Like the woman would turn into a gorilla. It was crazy. I did not like that at all. And then I went to a theme park in Argentina, in Tigre, I believe it is. Uh, it's called Parque de la Costa, which is amazing. And I had such a great time there. I went there when I was 14, so I, I was a bit older. So I was able to go into roller coasters and all the rides. And I had a great, great, great time. I'm very glad that I was finally tall enough to go into the roller coasters because it was amazing. Another question, how many countries have you traveled to? Well, as I said, I traveled to Argentina and Brazil when I was younger. Then when I was 16, I went to England, to Cambridge, to study English for a month. And during my time in Cambridge, we visited Edinburgh, we visited London and Paris. Then when I was 19, I went to a congress in Salamanca, in Spain. And while I was there, we visited uh, Miranda do Douro in Portugal. We visited Madrid, we visited Barcelona. And then I went back to Paris. Oh, I also visited Avila, which is uh, a small city between Salamanca and Madrid. And I think that's it for now. Like, that's all the places I've been to. Yeah, but I'm going, as I said, I'm going on a trip in 2024. Hopefully it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna visit a lot of countries in the world. And I'm gonna be traveling for a while, hopefully. So I can't wait to do that. And maybe I'll meet some of you guys in my world trip when I go do it. Yeah. I'm already selling raffle tickets and I have to sell raffle tickets for three years for this trip. So. Hopefully everything goes well and I'll be traveling in 2024. Yes, please. Random next question. Who is your celebrity crush? As I said, I think many times, I'm obsessed with Station 19 and with Maya Bishop. So at this moment, I'm gonna say Danielle Savory is like my celebrity crush at the moment. Yes, I love her. Next question. What are your pet peeves? I was not sure what this meant. I had to look it up. I saw that it's something that annoys me more than it should, right? Okay, so my pet peeve would be, I get really annoyed, and I'm sorry for any US American out there. Though is, this is not against you, but uh, I get very annoyed when people in Spanish call people from the United States Americans. Because in Spanish, the basic translation would be Americanos, right? But that's not correctly translated. Because if you're talking about people from the United States, we don't call you Americans in Spanish. There's a name for people from the United States, which is Estadounidenses. So it really annoys me more than it should when people in Spanish or other Latin languages 
call people from the United States Americans in a language that is not English, right? Because if you speak English, there's not another way of saying it. The name is what it is. You can change it. It has been there for like a long time. People tried to change it. There were so many names thrown around, but it didn't work. The American had power, right? So they took the American. But in languages that is not English, like Spanish, it really annoys me when people call people from the United States Americans or calls the United States America. Because in Spanish, that's not correct. It's the United States of America. The America for us is the American continent. Like the North of America and the South of America, that's America for us. Everything gets translated from English to other languages. And it kind of changes everything that we learned as kids because all the history books say America is the continent. So it's like you're changing everything I've known since I'm a little girl. So that's something that kind of annoys me more than it should, but it kind of does. But I don't blame you as Americans, okay? I don't blame you, it's not your fault. It's not about you. It's about people in other countries calling the United States America, okay? <laughs> that's it, that's my pet peeve and I'm sorry about my rant about this, but yeah, that's, that's what I can think of right now. I don't know if I have another, but yeah, that's what I can think about it right now. Next question. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? Which are the most memorable? Well, I went to three concerts. I went to a concert about a Uruguayan Argentinian production. It was called Dance. It was like a comedy about teenagers in high school and they sang and they danced. So they did a presentation here and in the Capitol and I went to see them, which was really fun. I loved it. Then I also went to see Demi Lovato when she came to Uruguay and by myself, I went by myself. It was raining like crazy. Hail came, started to calm down. It was crazy. Like it was amazing, but there was a moment where Demi had to leave the stage because hail was coming down and there was so much rain. I remember being soaking wet because it was raining so much. Um, it was crazy. But then Demi came back and she sat on a stall and it was beautiful. It was such a, an emotional concert after that. So beautiful and calm and very home, home-like. I don't know if that's like a word. But I remember she wrote on Twitter after that, like she thanked us. She thanks us so much for staying under the hail and the rain uh, to wait for her. Because it really was crazy and it was amazing. And well, I'm never gonna forget that. And I also went to see the One Direction concert because uh, friends of mine won two tickets on a contest and they gave one to me and I went to see One Direction. I wasn't like a big, big fan, but I liked them. So yeah, I went to see it because they gifted me the ticket, so it was, and it was great. I loved it. I actually touched Zane's bottle. Like, I think Zane was the one that threw a bottle. Or was it Louis? I don't remember. One of them threw a bottle and I touched it. And it was like, oh my God, I touched the bottle. <laughs> so kid-like, honestly. I was like 13. I don't remember. I was like, I was really, really young. Okay, this is something I had to write down because it's, what is your favorite TV show quote? I had to look some up because I couldn't think about it too much, but these are some of the quotes that I know and I remember and I love. One of them was from Sarah Lance on Legends of Tomorrow. She said, I can't decide. I love them both. And I really love that sentence. It's kind of wired into my brain. Then from Charmed, because I'm a big Charmed fan from the old Charmed uh, series, the one with Holly Mary Combs and Alyssa Milano, you know, which says the power of three will set us free. I love that. I love that. Then from Friends, obviously, the oh my god. <laughs> I love that one. And also the showy one that he says like, how you doing? I love that one. <laughs> I think those are like things that you get kind of wired into your brain and you can't forget about them. And then, well, the good place, I also wrote this down because I love that she couldn't swear. So she was, she would say, holy mother forky shirt balls. <laughs> And those are things that are just so funny and I love them because that's a very good way to swear without actually swearing and I love it. And then maybe The 100 because I was a big The 100 fan. I haven't seen it in a while though but I love the thing they said when someone died and then they were like, may we meet again. I really like that. I think it was very poetic. Yeah. Which it was like, uh, in home we'll find the way. And I don't know. I don't know how it went but it was very poetic. The, the whole sentence and I loved it. Next question is, what TV shows are you currently watching? And well, all the ones I'm reacting to right now. So go check them out, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know if there are any other shows that you want me to react to, but I'm probably watching just the ones I'm reacting to because 
I don't have much time to watch anymore, so yeah. If you could do one last thing, what would it be? Breathe. I would, I would, I would breathe, you know, before I die? Does it mean before I die? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's so poetic. I would just breathe, I guess. But um, no, I guess I would maybe fly. I would like to fly. That's something I would, I would really like to be able to do because I like going places and seeing people and meeting new things and cultures. So yeah, I would, I would like to fly and be able to go whatever I want. Yeah, that would definitely be like my superpower if you wanted to know that. I would want to fly, yes. Or or teletransport, yeah, like be able to be somewhere and then be somewhere else like this. Yeah, that would be like my superpower. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Well, I couldn't say like a specific place because there would be like so many places. I would just say I would like to live in a place that is calm and quiet, maybe next to the beach. I don't know, like I don't like the beach that much, but yeah, somewhere where I could see the ocean and some mountains maybe or something very peaceful very quiet chill you know a place that you can be calm there's no like rush yeah that's what i would like to live i don't know where that is but it could be many places but that's what i would like to go yeah if you could live in the city or in the country where would you choose and it depends on, it depends on the city and it depends on the country like i don't want to be too isolated so I think a middle point. I don't like extremes. I like a place that it has contact with nature, but that also has like a lot of services and things to do. So yes, something in the middle. Yeah, definitely something like that. I love that one. What would be the first thing you do after going home from work or school? Well, I usually listen to music and I imagine alternate realities. Yeah, it's really fun to imagine myself in different situations in the world that I'm never gonna be able to do but it's fun and it keeps my brain entertained and working yeah next question the explorers on Twitter asked me one thing you would like to cross off your bucket list this year well I would say I would like to cross the 2000 subscribers which I'm very close to get and also well obviously finishing school like passing all my exams this year is like a big uh, bucket list right now and because I think these are very realistic bucket list things I don't want to ask too much of this year anymore Next random question. Do you have any pets? Show them to us. Well, I'll probably put a picture here, but I have a dog Her name is Kata. I've had her for like seven years I'm not sure because we had another dog like her before so I'm not sure when that switched because they look the same but yeah, I think, I think she's like seven, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. That's my dog. Another random question. What social media are you addicted to? Well, I'm not really addicted to any social media. I'm going to say the one that I use more is maybe Instagram or Twitter. I think it's between Instagram and Twitter, the ones that I use more. That's where I spend most of my time. But not too much because I have university and I have to study. So it's not like I spend all my time there. But... I do get distracted watching things on Instagram and Twitter sometimes. Yeah, that happens. Another random question. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Well, I gotta say obviously dulce de leche. I love dulce de leche. And also mantecol. I love mantecol. If you don't know what that is, it's like a, like a sweet thing that is made with a lot of butter and sugar and it's delicious. There are a lot of people that don't like it, but oh, I love mantecol. It's so freaking good. Then a random question, what kind of dessert would you like to be? Well, I'm gonna say one of my favorite desserts with which is salchichon de chocolate, which is, I'm gonna put a picture here of salchichon de chocolate because I love this dessert. And if you wanna look it up, it's a really good and it's super easy to make. It's amazing and it's delicious. It's one of like, I think in general, it's like a very famous dessert and it's really, really good. And it's super easy to make. And Carla Vega asks, do you believe in astrological signs? What's my sign? I don't know if I believe in them. Like sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's, it depends. Sometimes they say things that have no, make no sense to me. And sometimes they're kind of accurate. So I'm a bit skeptical about it. But if you want to know I'm a Scorpio, that's my sign. I'm very proud to be a Scorpio, even if I don't know much about it or I don't really believe in it too much. But yeah. 
Okay, two last questions. And before I read these two last questions, I'm going to tell you what I'm studying. So I'm studying to be an architect. I'm an architecture student. Hopefully I'm going to become an architect next year if everything goes good. I can know wait to see how that's going to go because I'll, I'll have to find a job and that's going to be hard. But I can wait to see what life brings. And actually, to answer the question that I missed before, it has always been my dream to be an architect. Since I was like six years old, I always wanted to, I said like, I want to do that because my, my dad moved to a different city and there were so many big buildings there. And I said, oh my God, that's amazing. I want to do that. So since I was six years old, I said, I want to be an architect. So that's what I'm doing. But I also want to study other things. Like I started doing graphic design, but something I really want to do is cinema. I'm very interested in like cameras and shooting things. That's why I also love doing a YouTube channel because I get the chance to edit and I love doing that. So yeah, that's something I am really interested in. Because coming to this next question, which is, what is on your bucket list? And well, one of the, mm, the things in my bucket list, bucket list is to study cinema. Like I really hope I get to do that one day. And also study photography because I also love to take pictures. And obviously traveling. Traveling is one of my main objectives in life. Like I want to travel all over the world and hopefully I'm going to get to do it. Like that's my goal in life, to travel, see cultures, meet different people. I love that. And I remember I, I put this, and I want to talk about my tattoo now. I have a plane and here it says make it happen. And I got this when I was 18 before I started university. And I said, you know, you got to work hard because you got to travel because this is what you want to do. So that is why I got a plane because this is my dream. And when I got into university, there was a subject that is, it was called make it happen. And it was a really complicated subject because it was hard. We had to do something that I had never done before. And I don't want to get too much on what it was, but it was like watching a movie and mapping it with colors and shapes. And then we had to do like a mechanism of a little ball and we had to hit something else and something else for something to happen. Well, whatever. It was really tricky and complicated. So I thought, okay, this is a challenge and I'm going to get bumps in the road, but I need to get to where I want to go. And traveling has always been my dream. So I put the phrase make it happen after the plane and because I need to do everything I have to do to make my dreams come true and that is traveling around the world so hopefully I get to see it one day <laughs> that would be amazing and now for the last question which was a question I didn't know if I wanted to in, like put here because Carla Vega I think it was Carla she asked me um, are you a part of the LGBT community? And there was a question that I wasn't sure if I wanted to ask and she told me like I didn't have to but the only thing I'm gonna say about this is I don't like labels, you know, I don't like being put in boxes or whatever. I'm gonna date whoever comes my way and, and be happy with whoever comes my way and that I love and I don't, I don't, that's what I don't like boxes and I don't like to put myself into it. I think I'm gonna live life and see where it gets me. I don't want to think about it too much because I think it's like we're always looking to put ourselves into boxes and to I'm this or I'm that or you belong here or you belong there and I, you know sometimes I just feel I just want to exist I just want to be and I don't want to have to put myself in boxes I don't know if that makes any sense or if I'm kind of going around the question but yeah I just think we all need to live our lives without any taglines and be happy we all need to be happy with whoever alone with a person whoever they are i don't care you know i think it's about us being happy and not judging each other for anything so yeah i think that's gonna be the ending of this get to know me tag and this is gonna be very long but i just want to say thanks so much for watching guys thanks for all your questions i really hope you enjoyed watching this and you get to know me a bit better and let me know if you want me to do any other kind of content or you like hearing random things about me. I don't know why you would, but maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I know that I enjoy watching videos about people sometimes. It just like makes me go into their lives and learn about them. And it's kind of fun to enjoy my time. So I don't know if you like this kind of things, let me know and I'll try to do them more often. But yeah, I hope you like this and I guess I'll be seeing you in whichever reaction you guys are watching or in a future video of whatever so thanks so much for all the support guys and i can wait to do more of this one day so thanks so much guys bye